this summer we have covered a lot of cams and this has to be one of the most unique ones. I'm talking about synchronized swimming and here to talk to us about it is head coach Sarah Kent at the University of Lethbridge. This is one of our summer camps that we've offered this summer. Uh, the goal is to try and get more children out in our sport and see what synchronized swimming, artistic swimming now, uh, is all about. So what is it all about? In layman's terms, artistic swimming is dancing in the water. We're dancing to music, we're counting the music so we're synchronized, we're working as a team together to put on a show for everybody watching. Kint is hoping her students fall in love with the sport and that they'd want to continue to pursue it. This is one sport that you can do for life. I've seen 90 year olds swim synchronized swimming, artistic swimming. And it's amazing to see that. I've, I've also taught five year olds to swim and just seeing them grasp the techniques and skills is really rewarding watching them grow. Like 14 year old Mia Shalmi, who's been in synchronized swimming for four years and now helps teach the class. I just really like the people that I meet and I get to have lots of fun and but at the same time work and be uh, strong and muscular. Well my sister stayed until she was 14. She's in the pool right now and I think I'm gonna do the same thing when I'm older. I'm gonna follow my sister around. I like the side dive. It's basically like a normal dive. Like, so you start in a dive position with your hands up like you're a, a sharp pencil, and then you tilt yourself over a bit, you jump into the pool sideways, and you land. I haven't learned the, the backwards one yet, but I think that'll be a really fun one later. So yeah. It's really fun, and I'm really getting along to, to, you, to go to Synchro. To, to learn, to show everyone I'm a good swimmer. Kent has a message for families considering enrolling their children in the Lethbridge Sinkerbells Swim Club. Not only are they going to learn life skills that are very important, swimming skills, they're going to develop some bonds and some friendships, learning how to swim creatively, and to develop some more confidence in, in themselves and what they're doing. I think it's one of the best activities. I'm a little biased, but I think this is one of the best activities that anybody can try, and hopefully they fall in love with it like I did. For Bridge City News, I'm Loris Alexander.